Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be improving the quality of this photograph. Now, this is a standard web image. It's a 72 dots per inch. Let's say we wanted to print this and want to have the picture a bit better quality, a bit sharper. We also want to get rid of some pixelization. If I zoom in on this, you'll see here, there's a lot of pixelization in here along the edges. We can solve all that stuff fairly easily. Let's just zoom back out again first here. We'll go back to zoom to width. Now, because we're going to be changing the image itself, you should make a backup copy of this. So go over here where it says background, right click, and I'm going to choose duplicate. So now I have two copies. The background is just our protection. In case we mess up, we can always go back to that and start over at that point. And we'll do our work up here on this background copy right here, the second one. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to change the image size. It needs to be a lot larger to get that 300 dot per inch. Now before we move on, make sure you click on that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any Affinity Photo videos coming in the future. Okay, let's go up here to document and come down to resize document right there. It's currently at 461 by 307. Notice that padlock in the middle that's locked. It means that these two fields are locked together. If I change one, the other one will change proportionally. Our units are pixels, that's fine. And here's the dots per inch at 72. And we want to have 300, so I'll click on this and come down here to 300. Or I could just type that in. And we have a sampling level right here. Change the sampling level down to by cubic. That should give you the best quality in here. And you want this to be resampling. What that means is that Affinity Photo is going to go in and figure out what it needs to be putting in in those additional spots. Since we're going from 72 pixels per inch to 300 pixels per inch, that's about four times larger, which means that for every single pixel, Affinity Photo is adding in more pixels and it needs to figure out how to put in or what to put into those pixels. Okay, I also want to make this larger. So right here it says size. It's just about pretty close to 2,000. So I'm going to click in here and just make this 4,000. And notice how this field over here changed once I set the field right there. Okay, that's all set to go. Let's now click on resize. And I'm going to zoom in a bit here again. Let's see what this looks like. You notice how it's a lot smoother. We really got rid of a lot of that pixelization effect in there. It looks much, much better, but it's a bit on the soft side. Let's see if we can adjust that also. Back up to view, and let's go back here to fit to width. There it is. Now for this step to get the best control, it's not a bad idea to do this effect on another layer, and then you can blend those layers if you need to. It's not a requirement, but just in case, I like doing another backup at this point. So let's go over here and right click again, duplicate, there we go. We'll make our adjustment on this layer. If it's just fine, great. If not, we can get rid of that and we're right back to this layer here. There we go. We're all set to go. Now, let's go up here to Filters. Come down to Sharpen. And we'll be using the Clarity Sharpness right there. This is a pretty nice one. Bring this up. And it's right here. Now you can go more or less. Less is going to be actually getting more blurry and more is going to be getting sharper. You can pull it up and you can see what it looks like. It's also going to be increasing the contrast a little bit at the same time. If I go too far, you see what I mean? It gets really contrasty in there. You might like that, but I think just a bit. I kind of like mid-20s is pretty good in most cases. Let's choose Apply, and I think that's looking pretty good. If we can double check this, I'm going to hide the last step right here. Let's now hide this step and show the original. There is the original. And here's our new version, and you can see right in here how much nicer that looks. We've taken care of a lot of the pixelization, and it's a bit sharper, a bit brighter in here. I think we're looking pretty good at this point. Let's now apply a different sharpening filter onto this. Go up to Filters, come down to Sharpen. This time I'll use this Unsharp Mask right here. And we'll bring Factor up about halfway, and let's bring up Radius a little bit. And as we bring this together, we should begin to see something right there. There's some sharpening happening in here. Now that's too much, obviously, it's way off. So I'm just looking at the eyes right now, coming up right about to here. And let's rock our threshold a bit. I'm gonna bring the threshold back down a little bit lower, like that, right in here, I think is pretty good. And bring up our factor a little bit. So you're trying to find just the right balance between these. Now the way you do this is you rock your controls back and forth and go one control at a time. I think radius right around in here is pretty nice. And factoring seems to be pretty good right here. If we go too far, it gets kind of weird like that. You don't want to go too far on that. We'll bring radius back a little bit, bring factor up just a little bit, and let's check that threshold. And right about there, that's looking pretty good, I think. Right about in there. Okay, we'll just apply that. So there we go. Let's now bring up the original image. Let's first set this at a specific view. I'll set this to zoom fit to width. There we go, it's nice and set. Let's now open up our recent image, and that's this one right here. There's the original. And then fit to width. They're now the same size. So there's our new one, 
and there's the original. See all the pixelation in there? There's our new fixed copy. So I think we've really improved this dramatically with just a few quick and easy steps. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my complete training course for Affinity Photo. There's a link for that at the top of the description. And I'll see you next time.